Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Today I'm going to show you several popular celebrity photos such as Katy Perry, Kyle Jenner's horrifying painting, Ed Sheeran, Britney Spears, Bella Thorne, and many more, proving that the one-eyed occult elite never takes a vacation. By the way, I apologize if lately I've been making videos about photos related to the occult elite. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Katy Perry is the elite's current hit girl. Her entire act and persona are fully dedicated to the elite symbolism and its monarch mind control system. The cover of her album, Witness, is extremely symbolic. Both of her eyes are covered, which represents the blindness of MK slaves. An eyeball is inside her mouth, which symbolically indicates that whatever is coming out of her mouth is fully compliant with the occult elite's agenda. The symbolism of the cover is also very reminiscent of a key scene in the movie Neon Demon, which is, coincidentally, about the dark side of the occult elite. In this scene, a model swallows the eyeball of another model who was sacrificed in a cannibalistic ritual. Katy Perry's video Bonapati was also a cannibalistic ritual. All of that symbolism interconnects to form a sick elite subculture. To make things extra clear, Perry has been performing with a big eye right on her chest. This is like branding livestock to identify its owner. The elite's agenda is right on your TV. As part of the massive multi-platform strategy to promote everything Katy Perry, a perk of being an elite pawn, the 72 hours live stream was broadcast across the world. There were eyeballs everywhere. The media extravaganza also featured a therapy session, more like TV spectacle, where Perry kept talking about alter persona, a concept key to monarch programming. Speaking of alter personas, the promotional poster of the Witnesses tour features multiple Katy Perrys. The multiplication of personalities as a result of monarch programming. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. There are quite a few videos about Britney Spears on this channel. Why? Because she is one of the most obvious cases of monarch programming in the entertainment business. Everything about her screams out mind control, even her Instagram account. Here are some images that were posted by Britney or whoever controls her social media accounts. They are 100% drenched in MK symbolism. This is a painting of a young girl who has a monarch butterfly on her head while hiding one of her eyes with another butterfly. Pure monarch programming symbolism. Pretty much the exact symbolism as the image earlier. Let monarch programming be your sales. This pic shows another butterfly with a caption that creepily alludes to MK programming. We're all a little fragile. These are only a few examples of the many MK related images on Britney's Instagram. Take a look at the comments of this image. Some pictures of Kylie Jenner appeared on gossip websites because her boyfriend Travis Scott was grabbing her tushy at one point. As usual, everybody completely ignored the most disturbing part of these pictures. What the hell is up with that painting? The painting features a stick figure with its mouth sewn shut, or something, and butterfly on its head. Something red appears to be oozing out of the figure's bottom. The painting also features big butterflies, crosses, and the name Jack. In other words, it contains a bunch of symbols associated with monarch programming. Relevant fact, Killy and Travis have matching butterfly tattoos. Watch out Travis. Another celebrity who has all of the markings of a beta kitten is Kesha. Despite her attempts of freeing herself, she is still owned by the occult elite. In this IG pic, Kesha hides one eye while holding a phone with a kitty case. She is also showcasing her feline tattoo on her hand. She's been branded a beta kitten a long time ago. 
As usual, there are a bunch of celebrities did the one eye sign across mass media. And no, they weren't doing it for fun, they were instructed to do it by elite sponsored photographers. Music industry darling, Ed Sheeran, has one eye hidden in Clash magazine. But wait, maybe it is just a coincidence. He's too quirky and charming to be doing that kind of stuff. Nope, more intentional one eye action to let you know who he's working for. But wait, maybe it's another coincidence. He's so down to earth. Nope. Industry pawn. Camila Cabello left Fifth Harmony to pursue a solo career. Does that mean that she's free from elite control? That guitar stuck on her face indicates. Nope. As usual, the one eye sign was prominently featured on magazine covers all over the world. They're a constant reminder of who owns this entire industry, yet not many people see it. The cover of Bizarre Turkey was all about the one eye sign. Bizarre Australia, yes, the same magazine. Another one eye sign. This is the cover of El Denmark. Oh my gosh, it's Bella Thorne, with one eye strategically hidden. Vogue Germany featuring the high priestess of the industry. Even she needs to pay tribute to the elite once in a while. Ellie Harrison is becoming somewhat famous in the UK. For this reason, she somewhat needs to hide one eye for no particular reason in professional photo shoots. Dilda Swinton has one eye hidden on the cover of Vogue Korea. She knows how to exploit her creep factor. Francesco Gabbani is very big in Italy. Naturally, the one eye sign became part of his act. ACK is self-described as an elite jewelry buying experience. A giant one eye sign was featured on the cover of its magazine in May. Ennio Morricone is a legendary film music composer. Even him was instructed to hide an eye for an AFP article. His finger over his mouth emphasizes the I can't talk about it aspect of it all. This cover of Italian publication, Robinson La Repubblica, is about the future. The subtitle says something like, the future, user instructions. According to the gigantic all-seeing eye inside a pyramid, the future is all about the elite's agenda. According to the article, the reality that awaits us might resemble dystopian science fiction novels. Funny how the future is always dystopian, as if any other outcome was completely inconceivable. The original Blade Runner movie came out over 39 years ago. Unfortunately, a whole lot has changed in the entertainment business since then. It is now owned by a very small group of people. This poster for Blade Runner 2049, which features an obvious one-eye sign, reminds us of who owns the movie business. These are the tickets for the 2017 Burning Man Festival. It features an all-seeing eye, under the words Radical Ritual. The entire thing is a dumbed-down distorted retarded version of the elite's actual rituals. The Human Plus display at Singapore's Artscience Museum is all about promoting transhumanism, an important part of the elite's agenda. The emphasis on one eye on the robot-human hybrid, their ultimate goal, is all of the proof you need. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.